This week uh, you rehearse and play uh, Bryce Dessner's concerto with the Czech Philharmonic. We know that the concerto was written for you, so my question is obvious. What's the history of the concerto, what you want to say about it, anything in interesting for us? So I will start with a meeting with Bryce. The first time we met with him was in 2015. It was because in Los Angeles at Disney Hall because we were playing the world premiere of Philip Glass concerto for two piano. And in the same concert, uh, some piece of Bryce were played and we were so impressed and we loved his music so much that after all we had it big dinner with everyone and, and we ask him, we say, you know, we would be so happy if you, you know, if you could write something for us and he accepts. And we did the premiere of his concerto in London in 2017 and since then we've been playing it all over the places. I, I love the concerto. I love playing it also. I have an enormous pleasure playing this concerto. Because there is power, there is rhythm, there is you know melody, everything I like. It's very well written, uh, very well written for two piano, which is very difficult. I mean, you know, one piano normally is, it's, it's enough, especially with an orchestra, because two pianos is often to replace an orchestra <laughs> when we play right or spring. Or I mean, we try, you know, but uh, concerto normally one one piano is enough. So it's quite tricky to to to, to write for two piano and an orchestra. I know that somebody said once that uh, speaking about, about music is like dancing about architecture, but nevertheless, can you somehow describe the concerto for the listeners that will uh, listen to it for the first time, what it is for the you? Ver the very unique thing about Bryce that is totally aware and he has a huge knowledge of all the music, not only the classical music, because Bryce, He's not a classical musician, he, after he all. He is a classical musician. He studied at Yale, which is historically the, you know, the best university for American composers. So he graduated at Yale. But in the same time, he's the leader and one of the founders of the rock group, The National. So, and he plays with his group, with as much intensity, as much love, as much desire that he writes for all the great orchestra in the world or the chamber music group or whatever. And, uh, and he really has this knowledge. He knows really rock, jazz, pop, classical, baroque. Stravinsky. I mean, <laughs> of course. Debussy. But, uh, no, it, and he's, yeah, in a way, he's very close to French impressionists composer, his music world is so large, is so intense and so full of everything that for that, in my, in my view, is really unique. And do you have any special experience with this concerto? Because you played it quite often, I guess. Yeah, we did. We did recently. In fact, he was in uh, Frankfurt. Yes. Last time. And this one was not easy because just uh, we, had, uh, we were supposed to go for the general rehearsal in the morning, 10 o'clock, and they called us at 9.30. They said one musician is sick, had a COVID, so all the orchestra has to be tested. So just stay in the hotel, don't move, <laughs> so don't know what to do. Uh, and, and let's wait for the result and see if the concert can happen or not. And then they said, you know, we have the result late, so maybe be ready to play recital. So they opened the hall because everything was closed. So we went, we rehearsed uh, for three hours with Katia. And then the concert was six o'clock. We were supposed to have the result at five. And then 5.15, suddenly all the musicians came on stage. So we just had to get ready and go and play the concerto, which is very difficult. <laughs> it's a very, very tricky concerto. It's really difficult. So it was, it was kind of, it was not so easy. And that was with audience or? Uh, yes, that was in with fact, yeah. yes. We but it went uh, very well. I mean, it, it they, went they've done well. really well, super, super. Well, 300 or 400 thing. people, that was yeah. within Zurich. In fact, uh, it's the first time we do a real streaming, I think. In fact, yeah, we did a streaming with you. Uh, wait, with this, so, so th this. this will be the first time without yeah. audience, no, yes, also? without audience, oh, without audience, without not audience. The first streaming. I know that not the first, streaming, the first, but first time without audience. Yes, without, without audience. audience. Yeah, so? absolutely. We came yesterday by plane. The plane was totally booked. I mean, then you know they ask us to 
go out two by two, but then to put us in a bus <laughs> when we all like that, <laughs> so you know. Strange. So it's very difficult to understand why that is not dangerous, but to play in a concert hall where the people can be two meters apart, and when we don't speak to each other, we and that is dangerous. So maybe someone can explain one day to me what is happening with this situation. It's very, very difficult. It seems like no one really cares about what we do. So we're happy finally to do a streaming that we can play with a fantastic orchestra, fantastic conductor. So we're happy to be here for sure. Thank you very much. Thank you.